For many players, the friendships that they formed during their youth hockey days last a lifetime. Welcome to Gotta Love New Jersey Hockey, I'm Brian Lanigan. And I'm Jackie Daly. Today we're at Sportorama Ice Rinks with squirts from the Devils Youth and Ramapo Saints. They're ready to play, but first let's find out what makes this bond in these teams so special. What makes a good friend? Um, someone who, if you let up a goal, um, they don't get mad at you. Well, being there to have someone's back. You be nice, you help each other out, and you have to be, sh and someone trusts you. Someone who's loyal, trustworthy, and just knows you inside and out, so when times are tough, you can lean on them. So why do you think it's important to be friends with your teammates? Well, if your friend's off the ice, you, you might have a better chance of, like, not getting in arguments on the ice. If you are friends off the ice, then you could, like, know that they're going to do something good on the ice and you could trust them. It makes going to games and practice is more fun. So why do you think it's important for your players to be friends on and off the ice? Well, being friends on and off the ice certainly helps uh, with the team concept that we try to build. Does your hockey team hang out together outside of the rink? Yes. And what do you do? We go to um, places near the arena. We go to the hotel for a tournament. We play knee hockey. We went to an army game recently. And my mom every year hosts a pool party at my house. If we have an early game, we would go to breakfast. Mm -hmm. Playing knee hockey at tournaments, going out to dinner, and like sometimes I invite people to my shore house. So how do you foster friendships within your team? Uh, all team bonding. I think anything off the ice, whether they play uh, knee hockey, uh, go to tournaments, go to breakfast, uh, go to birthday parties together, play street hockey. I think those are the times that they actually remember more than playing hockey on the ice. A lot of it comes naturally. Uh, I, I think a lot of it uh, goes back to the fact that we are around each other so much. We try to create a fun atmosphere. Obviously that helps get the guys in, in the right frame of mind to, uh, to create those friendships and hopefully carry them forward the years to come. We know that when kids are having fun, they can get a little bit silly. So how do you balance the seriousness with the silliness when you're practicing on the ice? Uh, I challenge them individually and as a team. So if we have a skating drill or a shooting drill, I'll, I'll actually challenge them. Oh, he went top shelf. Can you do it? Yeah. Then they, instead of uh, joking around the line, they'll actually pay attention to the drill, see what their teammate did, and then they'll try to go out on that drill and do it better than them. Sometimes you just got to get silly too. That silliness sometimes creates things that these guys wouldn't ordinarily do like a toe drag move or a backhander that they haven't tried before. And all of a sudden it's, it's like, hey, you know, remember that backhander you threw up top shelf in practice when you were being silly? You should be able to do that all the time. So do you and any of your friends have a special handshake that you have? I do. We go like high five, high five, boom, boom. We each do a trust fall to make sure we have trust in each other. Then we kind of go like, we bring it in. Ooh. And then we dab. It has been so great to see these squirts build friendships with their teammates. And we love sharing their special hockey bonds with each other. Remember, your story is our story. And you gotta love New Jersey hockey.